Yeah! Welcome back to Let's Play Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. This is part two. And, uh, we're gonna do some more missions. Now, right off the bat, I pressed the wrong button. You check the Sauron's army here. Sauron's army. There's way more dudes revealed. And there's a reason, because I played a bit in between the last part. And that's also why this is not a full play. It's a let's play. Because, uh... I'm going to try and go through all the main missions, but I'm going to do a lot of side stuff outside of the recording just because it's boring to watch. It's boring to watch me run around and collect shit. Oh, man, that guy's over there. So I unlocked a few areas. Um, I cleared some of the sections on the map, and uh, I upgraded a couple of my things. So you can see here I have the whole first row. I didn't unlock the second tier yet, and I got some shit over here and all that. Also, um, you know, hopefully I know how to play the game a little more, and I won't suck as much. But let's go into the map again for the seventh millionth time. Seventh millionth. millionth. Alright. This always frightens the shit out of me. Uh, Cause in every other game in the universe, you die horribly from that. Except in uh, Middle Earth, apparently. Shadow of Mordor. You're like, nah, I'm good. Cause you're a ghost. So running over here. What are you doing with your sword? Crazy guy. Oh my god, look at all the collectibles. Done. Sprinting. Fast. We got this. Got a couple more abilities in combat, I think. I know I got like an execution move that's super useful. So hopefully that won't take as long either. I upgraded some of my stuff. I got some relics and my swords and shit. But as I said, I didn't do any uh, missions, like main story missions. So this is mission three. And look at this smug son of a bitch. I was just going to call him a son of a bitch and then I decided to add smug. He looks like an asshole in that photo. It is currently... 2 a.m. Sort of I'm rolling this by myself. Shadows, I Just why not? I got nothing better to do. Oh shit, cutscene. Something of great power has left its mark on him. Pa. I sense it. My power. He has answers. For both of us. We should find them then. It shouldn't be too difficult. Because I'm a ghost. Hmm. Follow the tracks. I'll free some These slaves. Tracks are not quite human. Yeah, no shit. Not quite beast. Even more reason to investigate. All right. I mean, they're clearly something. Die, worm! Okay, so uh, that's shadow mode there. You can see shit in there that you can't see normally. Be wary. Like you can see me Scrooge stab this guy in the stomach. Hey, you son of a bitch. Oh yeah. So uh. I now have an uh, like an instant kill move, e making it even more uh, similar to Batman. Uh, if you look at the multiplier on the left, when it when it's red, you can do this, which is an instant kill on all the weaker enemies, and on the stronger enemies, it just does a bunch of damage. Um, I think you have to get like a combo of eight hits in a row or something, seven or eight, and then that gives you the uh, that gives you the the instant kill thing. I forget what it's called, like power attack or some shit, and. Uh, if you get another eight in a row, you can you can charge it up again. So you can keep getting it over and over again in the middle of a fight, which is extremely handy if you're getting swarmed by like ten thousand dudes. Because you can just climb. you can just kill some fuck and Game get him out of your way. Oh, this is a sweet upgrade. So uh, I got the bow. You take the bow. I don't even understand how this makes sense. You take the bow and you shoot fire. Bam! Explosion. All right. I mean, I'll take it because they're all dead, but I don't I don't understand it. But I'm not a man of science, so I don't understand much. I'm I'm still a little confused on how a diving bell works. I mean, like, I've seen it. I know. It's just like, it's crazy. All right, so did I, where where am I going? Did I not follow it that way? Or did I run back? You fuck. It's up there. At least it's tracking where I went. Go this way, stupid. Blue. Oh shit! I Fuck! I should kill that rat. Overwrite. I'm not kidding. I do. Somehow connected to me. I feel it. <laughs> hunting challenge four. Killed one rat. So there's also hunting challenges and like fucking I don't know environment challenges or some shit, which is kind of similar to Red Dead Redemption. I think. I think that's right. Where there's like challenge tiers you have to complete. I think Assassin's Creed has it as well. So, uh, sorry, Survival Challenge. So you see on the upper left there, you've got Survival Challenge 3. So all that is is you just have to do shit in the wild. So 
I need two of those blue p plants and one of the red ones. And then if I kill four rats, you just get experience and it goes to the next challenge. Probably leads to an achievement eventually. I imagine there's like a limit, probably like 10 or something. Or a million. I don't know. Uh, but those are pretty easy to do just as you're playing. Like, I, like so, you know, I notice the rat and I'm like, rat's gotta die, you rat fuck. And he's dead. Where the hell are all the slaves? So one. How's I supposed to get it if you ain't got- Oh, there's one. There's two. <laughs> chopped in the neck. You got chopped in the neck. Oh yeah, you can also jump over them, which is exactly like Batman. It's even the same button. I mean, pretty much everything's the same button. Like that, that's the fucking stun move in Batman. He whips him in the face with his cape. And the guy's all like discombobulated. Uh, fucking right trigger for plus X is the downed execution, which is the exact same command. Pressing A jumps over the guy's head in the middle of the fight. It's also dodge. But uh, I'm not complaining because I love the combat system in, in the Arkham series. You're going to get punched. And then I'm just going to instant kill you for fun because why not? Oh, oh, look at that. That's fucking cool. Batman's not doing that shit. How are you not free yet? Where, where who's left? Ow, you prick. Come here. I'll fight you. And you're dead. Oh, shit. I just got three? Well, that's sexy. I just brought sexy back in a whole new way. It's incredible. Okay, back to the trail. Now that we've cleared the bonus objective. I haven't really looked at the achievements. I don't know if there's any achievements for that shit, but like I said, you get extra experience. Or there's two different levels of like experience. You get experience, which levels up um, your abilities. Like when you level up, you get one ability point. And then you get like upgrade points, which upgrades your weapons and shit. And it adds more slots to your weapons for runes, because you can equip runes to make them stronger. And you get runes from killing the stronger enemies like the captains and shit. This is also why, you know, again, this isn't a full play. Because I wouldn't know any of that shit if I just continued to where I left off last time. I probably played the game for maybe two hours or so. Um, since the last part. Fucking fun. I just love beating the shit up. Like, I don't even have to fight these people. I'm gonna do it. Why not? I'm gonna fucking stab that guy in the neck. Especially when they're walking away, because you can almost get everybody. As long as they're staggered out a little bit. Fucking idiots. How would you not notice this happening behind you? And then I said to the guy, the doctor was his mother. Right? Guys? Oh, everyone behind me is dead. You bitch. Okay, seriously. I keep getting distracted. Oh, well, good. I'm already on the track. Fuck it. I can't stop killing. My bloodlust just takes over and I want to stab and shoot and... Chop. The runs tracks lead us right into that cannibal cave. Oh, there. shit. It's on the run. Get your ass back here, Gilly. That's what we call Gollum. It's like friends. Let's call him Gilly. Right. The Wraith World. I'm in the Wraith World. Spider. Pff, already got that challenge. Killed three. I think you can actually kill them by just stepping on them. Hang on. Damn it. Get him. Yeah. Oh, you got squishied. Oh, wait. God damn it. He's in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Was it necessary to run in circles like that? Not even to, to like, lose me. I'm saying, like, why'd he do it? Oh, give me help. I don't think you actually save those plants. They don't do shit. Except give you health. And if um, there's a challenge for them. You know, you'll get credit towards that challenge, but I don't think you actually hold on to them. They're just instant use items, and they give you a little bit of experience. Uh, we call it XP in the biz. God damn it! I keep running out. It's hard to tell where the entrance is, too, because I'm in ghost mode. Also because I'm a fucking idiot. So, he goes up there, and then, what, kills himself? Damn it, Michael. This is why I stopped fucking... Oh, here we go. What is this shit? He left a fucking sewer cover on the ground. Oh, it's a necklace. Never mind. <laughs> fucking freak out of it. What manner of spell is this? A lost heirloom talion. That's me, I'm Talion. You remember? Perhaps that pain is what connects us. 
shit, so his family got got too. Shoot him with your fucking arrow. Uh, so these things, uh, you can ride these. So you gotta like jump on their heads in order to ride them. Back off, fucker. It is escaping. Oh, that was it. I got a achievement for that shit? Shit. Got a couple upgrades on my arrows, so I think I can hold like twice as many. I think I added four more. So I can actually shoot those. And I'm assuming they want me to do that because there's fucking arrows everywhere. Alright, I mean. Well, that wasn't strong enough. Oh, yeah, and they totally fuck up them, too. The whatever, Kara, Kara, or some shit. Why do I gotta eliminate them? Let him do it. it. Like an objective or a bonus objective? I don't know. Fight you. Ow. Ow. There you go. I fucking dodged one. Don't have a lot of time here. Jesus Christ, he's kicking my ass in. Alright, so this is a mechanic when you go down, it gives you like a last stand, basically. If you put the cursor inside the circle and then hit the corresponding button, you come back to life. Like that. Like I that how I didn't do that, and he just fucking mauled me to death. Don't do that. I also assume it gets harder every time you go down. These things actually aren't that bad to deal with if there's other enemies. Like, I'm kind of fucking stupid for letting uh, him kill the other enemies and me shooting the other enemies first. Because he'll kick the shit out of them. And you can just, uh, you can just, like, hit him in the back like a coward. He'll just stand there like a fucking fool. Right, let's try this again. I know. I know. Wait for this dude. Hey, go fucking go get eaten by that thing. Go get eaten. All right. Yep, there you go. Like that perfect. Fuck, he's going to tell on that guy. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, hey. Go after them. There you go. Shot in the eye. You're too late. Wow, look at that. Two hits fucking killed him. Definitely the way to go. I wouldn't fuck around with the sword. But again, a lot harder to do when you're uh, when you're by yourself. These enemies make it pretty fucking simple. So when they have that little stunned mark on them, when they're on the ground, that means they can be killed in one hit. When they have the stun mark while they're standing up, that means the next hit will knock them on their on on the ground. Which is important to know because you can't just mash the X button to build your combo multiplier. If you swing with X and you miss an enemy, it breaks your combo. Nice cutscene. We must have it back. We must have it. Quiet. Quiet, precious. I think you could sneak up on me so easily, eh? Hey? No! No, don't hurt us! Ah, my What does he know of it? Yes, we know this. But Master came to us in our dreams. I will definitely wash that wound. Would. Do not wish to know who I am. I mean, we're definitely going in that fucking cave. That's the mission. Gollum went into a cave, and I'm slowly walking 
uh, off the screen, stage left. Is that, is that accurate? Or is it stage right? I don't know. I've never been on the stage. Ooh. An herb I need is nearby. So I need the blue and the red. Oh, yeah. The red's right behind me. Right there. What is going on and where? Okay. So if you see on the map there, those green markers, if I grab those dudes and interrogate them, they'll tell me, uh, like, basically where more captains are. But you can't get hit in the face with a sword when you're trying to do that. Which can be a pain in the ass, because, I mean, they're, they are trying to kill you, and you could totally kill them in the middle of this. Not that it's that important or vital to uh, get every single one, because there's fucking tons of them. They just respawn. Uh, but it is nice. Like, that's... I just try and do it as many times as I can, because, uh... You can just have all the lieutenants and captains and shit or whatever unlocked. That way, if you're just strolling through an area, you might happen to find them, as opposed to, like, looking for one, one at a time. You know, a lot of times I'm just playing, and I'm in the middle of a huge fight, and then all of a sudden I'm fighting a captain. And I'm like, oh. Stop. Stop. I'm gonna grab your ass. Tap A. Suck his brains out. Hit A again. So, you can unlock any of these shadows, and they'll put them on your map. Like, these three right here with the yellow, these two are missions that I can do right now, and it shows you where they are on the map. And then this one is a mission, but I can't do it yet, because it's still locked. So I have to, you know, do a couple more story missions. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. I just fucking uncover that guy. So now, you know, if I happen to go in an area where that guy is now, I can fight him, and it just saves me the trouble. The guy just got decapitated. That was, that was pretty sweet. All right, so as far as next mission, because I feel like I can squeeze another one. Oh, sweet, there's a blue one right here. And only one more of these. All right, so it's more purple. But it looks blue on the, it's blue there. And it's called Azuridan, which is like, what is that? That is a color, Az Azural or some shit? It's like a blue. <clears throat> but it's fucking purple when I collected it. That don't make no sense. I'm just gonna try and grab this guy all sneaky like. Shit, there's two of them. <laughs> Don't notice the guy right next to you is getting murdered. Damn it! You gotta hold the button and I didn't hold it. There we go. Yeah, somebody's going to trip an alarm, but that's okay because I'm not fucking hanging around. I found generally the guys in the back are worth more power. And the thing with power is, um, again, that's like a third kind of experience bar. Um, but when you get enough power, you unlock new tiers, so you can buy new abilities. See, like right there, I whacked the air, because I was just mashing the X button, and it killed my multiplier. Same thing, I think if you, if you press Y, uh, and there's no counter, that'll also kill your multiplier. I think. Stab your ass. Oh, shit! Whoops, just crouched behind this guy. Oh shit, see like that. Now this is just some dude. Now he could have been here, I might have unlocked him already, but I didn't even have to look for him. You know, he just ran up to me and he's trying to fucking push my shit in. Hey, shut the hell up, I'm gonna kick your ass. So, I had that power built up. Holy shit, it actually killed him in one hit. So, you definitely see how useful that, that can be. Where are you going? You're not sounding shit, dude. You running too? Everybody running from me? Oh, better fucking run. And then every single captain you fight, I think, I think every single one, um, or they're definitely the only ones that drop it. They drop relics, and then you can put those in your weapons to power them up and shit. For example, I have a relic in my sword that I got from a pretty high-level captain who fucking murdered me like twice. And that's the other thing. If the captains murder you, they actually fucking level up and get stronger, which is good and bad. Uh, it's good because I, I assume they're worth more experience. I don't know if their drops are any better or items are any better, but uh, I don't know. It's always more fun fighting a stronger guy. The captains are the hardest when there's like 900 dudes fighting with them because the, the dude in particular that I got the relic from, he had fucking regenerating health. So every time I'd like punch him and then go kill a bunch of dudes, I'd come back to him, he'd have fucking full health again. Uh, but I got a relic with my sword that, uh, oh, hurry the fuck up, dude. Yeah, that wasn't happening. 
that I gain free health every time I do a counterattack. Now, I don't know how much free health is. It's probably pretty insignificant, but if you look at the crowd of fucking enemies I'm fighting, uh, you're gonna counterattack a lot. So, getting any little bit of health is gonna help. This is also a perfect opportunity to just start fucking executing people when you're surrounded by like a hundred fucking guys because it's just gonna take a while. Shit, shit. No, I think I got shot. Definitely wanna take out archers first if you can because they'll really piss you off. Or, or I think that fuck had spears, that's what it is. Holy shit. I think I'm in the middle of a fucking stronghold, so there's normally not this many dudes. But there's a lot of dudes. I just hate running away. And I'm also always trying to top my multiplier for no reason. It's just fun. Oh god. Fucking spears. Damn it! I got too distracted with the spear. Somebody somebody asked if the Ys ever go away because they are annoying. Uh, and while they may be annoying to look at when you're not playing the game, when you're playing the game, you don't even fucking notice them. And no, they don't go away because that's to tell you when the fucking counterattack. Uh, as I mentioned, I believe, in part one, at least in Batman, on hard mode, that Y button was not there. So you just had to know when a guy was about to get you and hit the Y button at the right time. Uh, but on all the lower difficulties, it is. So, no, I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that never disappears this game, because it's kind of the whole point of it. So you don't get fucking hit in the back every two seconds. Alright, I'm gonna get the hell out of here, because I'm here for absolutely no fucking reason. I strayed too, man. I haven't even fucking unlocked that tower yet. I'm gonna go over here. If I can do, I don't know, three missions in this, this part, that'd be good. Let's do Spirit of Mordor. So I can uh, fast travel this, or two here, which is why I unlocked it ahead of time. Just because I knew that mission was far as hell. That's the sound it makes teleporting. Okay, and then I will just fucking leap to my presumed death that never comes. This feels so weird. Oh, where's this dude? Is he close? He is. He's in this area. Shit. Now, when you get into an area with a captain, I don't know if you just need him unlocked or if you need to have him marked as, like, your target. I don't think you do. When you go into the, um, like, the spirit mode shit, or wraith vision, it'll highlight the dude right there, that's the captain, and then you pull, or you push, uh, the right oh, stick, God. and then it gives you, like, the little fucking tutorial on the dude, or, like, his little stats and shit. Which, to be fair, I never look at, so that might come into play later, like you need to. At this point, it does, like, you just hit the guy a lot. That's, that's the strategy. What's he weak against? A fucking sword through his throat? Oh, this'll be nice. Let's start with a bang, shall we? Guy behind me. Hey, oh, what's up? Are you kidding me? You fuck. Oh, I guess he had a fear of burning the thing I just said I didn't look at, and then I caused fire right next to him, so it scared the shit out of him. Which is another thing that uh, happens. They just run away. Apparently, that's a fairly common thing. Which sucks if they're strong and you're about to win, because then, like, it's just a waste of your fucking time. This is a great move to use uh, when you're fighting one guy because people keep fucking interrupting it. But when you can do that, you can really beat the shit out of somebody. That has a recharge. I'm not actually sure where that is, though, to be honest. Like, the recharge for that specific ability. No, come here. Wrong button. Wrong button. You can also grab a captain, I believe, when he's... When his... Um... When his skull is green, because he's weak. So I guess he could have done that from the beginning since he was running away. Come on, asshole. This, this fuck's gonna make it difficult. Um, you can interrogate him like you can any, any other enemy. Uh, I haven't done it yet, but I also hear that you can... You can basically, like, scare the shit out of him. I forget what it's called. Like, you can, you can break the captain where he fights for you. I'm assuming just until he's murdered. I don't know if he just follows, or follows you around or what. Um, but apparently you can, like, put him under your control, and then all his men actually fall under your control as well. Uh, but I've yet to do that. Recover 65% focus on a ground execution. That's awesome. Uh, focus is what this is, I believe. Like, the punch. Because you can punch as many times as you want, but it'll, it'll only do that stun move, like, the first hit. 
and then you have to let it recharge. Uh, but as far as runes go, so we go in here, I got the sword. Right now I have two slots available. Um, but this one recovers 37% focus. So I can go in there and you see I have two more. I've got a 55% focus and 16% chance to recover five health on any kill, which is, you know, it's not great, but if I had an empty slot, I'd throw it in. But this is the exact same one, as you can see, Power of Earth, but this one's level four and this one's level 10. So obviously you're gonna wanna equip the level 10. I don't know if I can swap them out. I think you can. Let's find out. You can. Okay. I, I honestly didn't know. It's the first time I've ever swapped them out. So the relics aren't like locked in the place. You can totally equip them and unequip them. I don't know if it stacks. So like that one recovers 55% of focus. I don't know if I equip, if I equip this one, it's 55% plus 37% or it just takes the better one. But I really don't give that much of a shit anyway to take up the, the slot. So you can then convert it, which basically breaks it into M, which I don't know what the fuck that stands for. Mordor points? I don't know. Uh, but that's what you use to upgrade your attributes for your weapons and shit. So I'll just break that down because I'm never going to use it again. And then uh, if you go over to upgrades. So this is just from experience from killing enemies and completing missions. This is the, you know, the fucking Mordor points where you can upgrade your health. You can upgrade how many shots you hold. Um, you can upgrade your focus uh, for the bow. So maybe that... Maybe that's what that is anyway, the 55% the focus. Like, I thought there was two different focus attributes, but maybe that just refers to the bow. Um, and what focus does is when you're aiming, that's what slows down time and shit. So increasing your maximum focus lets you do it longer. Uh, and then these three are just uh, weapon slot things. And then they all have, like, ultimates, I guess, when you complete all the tiers uh, that just give, like, super abilities. But uh, we'll get to that later. I mean, I got to it now, but I won't fucking get it for a while. Moving on. Some shit going on over there. But uh, I I don't give a shit. Because I'm just going to fucking start this mission. Because hopefully we can do three missions in a video. There's 20 missions. I already did two. Uh, well, actually, I did one more in this one. So I did two in the first one. I've done one so far. If I do three, that'll already be five. That's a quarter of the fucking missions in the game. What the fuck is happening? Shoot the hanging bait to attract the Karagors. Oh, that's cool. But, you know, I'm going to do this mission first. Man, I'm about to get hit in the back of the head. Or am I? Nope. Let's fucking get out of that scenario right there. Ranger! Come close if you want the back hand. No slave scum. I pour a poison in your ear. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you cut these ropes. Right back, I'll tell you everything. Hmm. Now, what would you know? All these other dead orcs did. Go ahead, you bastard! Do it! I'll die, and you'll know nothing! Maybe I'll grant your request in your miserable life. No, 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 no. It's just that. Look, those slaves are no match for the orc army. You just joshing Their with me. Skins as rotten as barrel fish. A rat bag can teach you the ways of the orc. Ratbag can make your plan work. Yeah, I like Ratbag. Hmm. We're going to find out what you know. Pinch him. Oh, you can do that too, I guess. You also could have just went right to that and not listened to anything he said. You could have just grabbed his fucking head and moved on with your life. Captains and worms will reveal intel on a target when interrogated. Press right trigger to reveal Gorath's strengths and weaknesses. He has a weakness that you can exploit. His fear of Karagors will terrify him into running into a running, stumbling coward. If you can expose him to a Karagor, he will lose some of his strength and become an easier target. I guarantee you that becomes way more of a factor later on when they get much harder um, and when you're playing on the harder difficulties. So far, it hasn't really been necessary. Like I said, you can just kind of win on a guy. <sighs> What's so funny because I think I had that guy unlocked already because it was part of the mission, but I guess you need to super unlock him in the mission. Your problem, Ranger, is the war chiefs. Strong leaders they are. You know, if something were to happen to them, then they wouldn't be able to stop your little insurrection, would they? No, I would hunt them down. <laughs> How? They're not very popular around here, and they know it. 
You can find them. Yeah. Oh, yes. Ratback will show you the way. You help me, I help you. That's fucking tiny. You're an asshole. Marvelous. <laughs> Let's stop faffing about that. Huh? First, Faff. take care of a certain captain and a few caragors. Come with me, Ranger. Oh, I know what captain. The captain that's afraid of caragors. That's part of the whole thing. Just stroll on over here. Follow me. I'll Just walk stop. slowly. Those slaves are stabby in the back. At least an Uruk will stab you in the front. Yeah, thank Most God. To throw. We have similar goals, Ranger. See, you want to kill the captain, and somebody's got to take his place. Somebody like Ratbag. Right, and then I'll just fucking kill your ass, so, so that's fine. Doroth is in charge. Of this camp, yeah. So that's it's actually what happens. Um, if you kill captains, to the black other people behind them, like oh, in the sure army, can you take their the spot and they'll actually sun. level up and become captains. So like a level two can go to like level seven. Ratbag's plan to become a war chief. Been prepared to step hard on his neck. Ah, you fuck. How did you get free, scum? All right, is that him? Or... Defenders, no, it's defenders will block frontal attacks and must be hit from behind. Yeah, so these dudes, uh, you can probably counter, might stun them, but for the most part, you're gonna want to jump over them and hit them in the back. Which you can do to anybody, but you have to do it to these dudes. He's a much easier target. Huh. His sword is broken. Leave the vermin alone and face me, Urix. Hopefully that guy's not getting his ass kicked over there, because I have no fucking idea right now. You better not be. Tell you what. Knock you down. I'm gonna fucking kill your ass. You gotta time the uh, the kills on the ground, because as you can see, I didn't get it there. Uh, because you do need a couple seconds to like actually stab the guy and murder him. And if somebody comes to punch you in the face, they'll interrupt you. Rat bag, no! Damn it. Hey, no, get over here. Get damn it. He's getting his ass kicked. Fuck. Probably shouldn't have waited like 14 minutes to get over there. Well done, Ranger. Now, just picture all these corpses as Gorok. Visualize your goals. Don't lose any more health, Gorok's schmuck. Gorok's been out for Ratback for years. Smug piece of dung that he is. We come to blows as far back as Ratback can remember. Still, Ratback never wins. Last time, he kicks right back into the Karagor pit. All the others laugh as the Karagor bats right back around like a yarn ball. Oh, that Gorov's gonna pay. Smug piece of dung. He'll pay. He does not like this Gorov guy. Gorov Karagors in pens. The rumor has it he doesn't like to get too close to him. I'm sneaky. And let me guess, you think I should open those pens? Gorov's always in there. Never leaves, ever. Wonder where he pees. Oh, that explains the smell. Go on, go around. Idiot. Keep out of sight. I'll see that your captain gets demoted. Splendid plan. You kill, I wait. That's military genius, that is. Yeah, that's that's great. You stay there. At first, at first, I thought he said you kill, I'll wank. Cause I I believe that too. Oh, rat bag will be here wanking in the corner. You can also run sneak too, which is so fucking cheap, but it works. You're just like hauling ass across the fucking like courtyard and they don't notice you. No, no, no. Get off. Looks like someone's No, shut up. Shut your mouth. Ah shit. Oh, it's without raising an alarm? I can do that. Don't touch that! There we go. Damn it. See, like, I didn't get enough time on that guy to actually kill him. And now he's dead. Damn it. God damn it. 
did not mean to instant kill that guy. Sometimes you just take what you can get. Like, I was mashing the button. You always want to try and instant kill a guy that you're not fighting at all, because it's better to kill a guy that's at full health than, you know, try and instant kill a guy that's almost dead anyway. But, even if you do do that, as long as you're fucking- Ah, oh, shit! Fuck that one up. Screwed the pooch. Alright, this is, uh, this is it. Super sneaky. Ignore that getting detected. Uh, and, you know, just do that. It's actually not that hard to not get spotted. I'm just an asshole, and I try to kill everybody. Uh, but it's a personal problem. And I'm just fucking trying to, like, run through this. You can use the attract to call them over to you, and it's way easier to, to kill them stealthily. Stealth, stealthily, stealthily. Uh, but it just takes forever. You're just waiting for patrols and shit. I hate doing that shit. Especially in a Let's Play, at least. Okay, now this guy turns around, I'll fucking stab him, and I'll stab the other guy. And hopefully I won't have to fight 15,000 of them. Right, so they're fucking dead. Those are two big assholes. To get up somehow. This will work fine. Alright. Killing two guys is much smoother than what I did before. I'm gonna fucking jump on your head. Somehow. Okay, back up. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get around this wall, but I'll try. Can I? No? Didn't think so. I'm like fucking right next to this dude. Okay. Here we go. This looks like a good spot to get some shot off. Yeah, sure. Do it. Gorath will kill you if he catches your napping. never comes here. He's always by the hunting camp. Gorath's in the hunting tell. camp. So much for him always being in the same place. A captain who fears his own beast. Fear is a powerful tool, Talion. Let's put Gorath to work. I had no idea what that do, so I tried. Uh, pretty funny. Hopefully it doesn't set the alarm off for no reason whatsoever. It's fun to do, though. Aha! Run away! I do like that little fucking sprint. That's awesome. And I just ran into this. What are you gonna do about it? Ah! Damn it! Stab in the air is fucking stupid. There we go. No, damn it! I still didn't get it? Fuck you. Holy shit! I did not know they'd just catch on fire if you hit them in there. Start nothing, won't be nothing. It's almost always better to just hit the Y button if someone's coming at you. Um, you can actually just hit X and hit the person before We're close. Um, you know they hit you instead of countering them. But it's gone. fucking risky when you're in a crowd of a lot of people because you can just you know point the analog sticks towards somebody and hit. Um, and hit the fucking, uh, the X button and just attack another enemy. If you don't hit the guy that's about to hit you, then you're gonna get got. So, it's always safer to hit the Y button as soon as you see it, if you can. But the only time I kind of push it and try and wait is when, uh, is when I'm fucking stabbing somebody in the throat. Here we go. He's a fucking Karagor tamer, but he's afraid of them. That's interesting. Alright. And we'll do that. I, uh, simply go up here. Oh, that's gonna suck for you, buddy. Haha! -ha! Holy shit! I got him. 
So generally, you can't instant kill captains. Uh, but you do do damage. Alright, let's try and interrogate his ass, see what my options are. Got kill and gain intel. So, I don't see that option that people mentioned where you can, like, control him and his units. Uh, but that might be even a guy above a captain, or I just might not have that ability yet. I'm not sure. But he told me about that guy, and then he's fucking dead anyway. After power struggles, battle reports will recap the events and shifting power of Sauron's army. Press this to view the battle report. Alright. Oh shit. I mean, that's not really what happened, because cause I killed him. Uh, I mean, they didn't fight at all. I just murdered the guy. But, as I said, I'm totally going to go fucking kill Ratbag, because now he's a captain. I'm not going to murder him. I need you to take a body back to my tent. I'm going to get me a trophy. <laughs> get lost, scum. We only take orders for Goron. That's the filthy corpse I need you to carry! Now go! Go! Shut your fish up! <laughs> what a fucking idiot. They didn't give a shit. Be respectful, you dunghill worms! Or it'll be your ear next time! Ratbag is your captain now! Let's go take a gun. Uh, you fucking throw an ear and, you know, you get some respect. Yeah. And when you're done with that, I've got more bodies for you to carry. Meet me at the crossroads. An old friend there is about to lose his head. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're gonna murder you right now, rat bag, you rat fuck. Alright, so, uh... Hey oh, the spirit of Mordor, success! And we got the bonus objective. It was worth 50, 50 measly fucking points. Now I am working with an orc. What could possibly be next? Whee! We must use the weapons of our enemy against him. The orcs hate each other almost as much as they hate us. So anything that's not yellow is a side mission. It says there's herbs nearby, which generally when it says that, they're right. I don't see them. Are you serious? Were you gonna fight me and this is like what you're doing? Was that just some dude or was that rat bag? I couldn't even tell. I assume that wasn't him. Right, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Holy shit. Uh, what do we got for missions? Oh, these are interesting. So these are, these are like power struggles. Oh shit. Okay, so that's really how you fucking level your tier up. I'm not exactly sure what those, like what they consist of because I haven't done them yet, but you can see you get 40 power points for doing that. As opposed to the captains normally give you anywhere from three to 10 and 10's a lot. Um, so those would definitely be the way to go. Maybe I'll just do one of those, and then we'll we'll wrap it up. Because I don't know how long a whole fucking mission is going to take. Is this the closest one? Yeah, I'll just fast travel here, because I'm fucking lazy. Okay, if I can fucking push the right button, that'd be... Oh, never mind. It's not fucking available at this time. You son of a bitch. Uh, okay, so let me just fucking haul ass back this way. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let me see if I can grab one of these. Dudes to ride Carad Caradars or whatever the fuck they're called. I don't know if there's any other way to get on them unless you mount them from above. It's the exact same technique they use to instant kill enemies when you stealth kill them, except you hit the left bumper and you like stealth jump on their back. And then you can ride them around and they they're a lot faster and you can fight with them and shit. I haven't really done that much, so I don't know how how good they are. But uh, they're fucking fast. I know that. So it pays to get it uh, to if you're fucking running around a lot. It's probably useful for just clearing the map. But you do have to run around and find them. I don't. I don't know that you can just get one yet. Okay. So uh, you know, whatever. I'll do whatever the fuck this is. Open up. 
in the cage. I need a good fight right now. It's gonna stick. All right. So what the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Should I fight him or? Okay. All right. It was resolved. His power increased. I don't know what the fuck that happened. I don't know what happened. Okay. Did I get 40 fucking power for that? Because where's... Holy shit, I did? For watching a cutscene? I wasn't in a cutscene. Fuck. And now I kill this guy and get another nine. Keep standing there. I'm gonna punch you in the face, and then I'm gonna combo you. This is kind of fucking annoying that you always have to do this. Considering you fight a never-ending army of captains the whole game, this is pretty unnecessary. I get it, the guy's got a fucking name. I'm about to fucking chop it off of him. What a bitch. Come here. Come here. Let me teach you a lesson. Yeah, give me some intel. Shit, so I just basically got 50, 50 power. Which is more than I've ever gotten playing the whole game so far. And that was in about 10 seconds. And you're dead. Ooh, and I get a relic. So a relic's always one of three kinds. It's either for the sword, for the dagger, or for the bow. So that one's Blade Master, 55% chance to recover full health when hit streak reaches 30. That's fucking incredible. 55% um, is fucking high. Uh, and 30 is not that crazy. I mean, I hit 30 and 40 all the time. So I'll definitely put that in a weapon. Now, um, these aren't the best, but I know I can already afford a third slot, so I'll just go ahead and buy that. And then I don't have to take anything off. When push comes to shove, I can take off the shit that I'm not, like, that fond of. But, so I buy an extra rune slot from a sword. Eyes glow, because I'm a ghost. Get a fucking achievement. And then go back to the sword. It does this every time you upgrade it. It goes like... And then fucking slap that in there. That's pretty awesome. So, you have a 55% chance of just, boop, getting full health in the middle of a fight. Which is pretty fucking handy. Uh, odds are you are not going to get a 30 streak if you're getting your ass kicked. Because your combo is going to keep breaking anyway. But that's really good if you just get out of a fight and you have low health. Because your health does regenerate, but it takes a while. It's very slow. Um, so if you start a fight with low health, that's that's really good. Or or for fighting a captain or some shit, because they take tons of hits. You could probably hit a captain 20 times before he dies. Maybe more, I don't know. Uh, so I guess that about does it for part two. Uh, we really got into the thick of the game. So again, I'm going to do some more side missions. I'll level up a bit and blah, 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 blah. And hopefully in part three, I can just, just go right into the missions. Like... Ideally, I'll have this entire map unlocked and I can fast travel around and just go from mission to mission and, you know, hopefully there's not that many more mechanics to explain. But uh, I feel like it was a, a solid tutorial as opposed to the first one where I didn't know what the fuck I was doing or where I was going. So uh, we made some progress. I think there's a tracker somewhere of how far we are. Where is it? I don't know. It's, uh, it's, uh, upgrades, maybe? Yeah, there it is. All right, so we've got four missions, but we're at 14%. Most of the percentage in this game is all the side shit. The main missions is probably the shortest part of the game. So I think I had two fucking percent after the first video, and then I got another 10% just doing, like, the side missions and collecting stuff and blah, 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 blah. But that'll do it for part two. So stay tuned if you give a shit about this game. If not, um, you know, don't watch it then. Part three.